Hi, today I'm gonna to show you a super quick chili that you can throw together for your family. This is a great transition meal. You don't need any meat, although I guess if you want to, you can put it in. I don't advocate meat eating. So when I was looking for transitional recipes, this was one of the first ones that I went to and I hope that you like it just as much as our family does. So for today's meal, we're going to be using a big can of diced tomatoes, a small can, or I guess a regular can of tomato paste, and another small can of diced tomatoes. I mix these two together, and that's what's in here, just to make a thicker sauce. Italian seasoning, three cans of beans. You can use whatever you want. I'm using black beans, cannonelli beans, or cannonelli, whatever and great northern beans. I'm also using some smoked paprika, ground turmeric, Cajun seasoning, some garlic powder, chili powder, uh, about a cup of corn, about a cup of diced onions, and ground cumin. Instapot. <laughs> Throw everything in. You've got your tomatoes. You've got your beans. I did rinse these. beans. Uh, I used to, I usually use a can of kidney beans, um, but for some reason I don't have any. And I usually put salsa in here so you can do that too, which is a great way to make it a little more Mexican. But unfortunately the kids find the salsa more than I do, or faster than I can buy it. Some corn, throw in some onions, Now I'm gonna throw in the sauce that I made by taking um, a can, a small can of diced tomatoes and pureeing it with some tomato paste. This will just help thicken everything up. Okay. I'm gonna throw in some smoked paprika and no, I'm not going to measure any of this. Just, it gives it a smoky flavor. Um, probably like, I don't know, half a tablespoon. I'm gonna put in a little turmeric just because it's good for you and no one will even know it's in there. It's anti-inflammatory. Here's some Cajun seasoning. Not much of this because it gives a little kick. Um, chili powder, probably at least a tablespoon of that. And you can always taste it and if it doesn't quite, um, if it isn't quite to your taste, you can always add more. This is garlic powder, which oh, I don't like the brand that I bought, but some of that. And cumin. Cumin's the thing that makes your taco seasoning smell like tacos. So I put in a liberal amount of that. You're going to give that a stir. Like I said, if you have salsa, put in about a half a can of salsa instead of the diced tomatoes, the small can because that will give it a, a more Mexican flavor. Now, you have three choices on what to do with this. And I usually use an Instant Pot um, because it's three things in one. It is a pan that you can cook something in. It is a crock pot, so you can leave it on all day and it has a delay start too, so that's nice. And it's also a pressure cooker. So you actually could put all of this in, unsoaked beans, cook it, and it would be delicious. Um, but this is transitioning, so everybody can buy canned food. Try to find the cans that don't have salt in them, but throw it all together and it's super quick. So what I'm gonna do, because it is four o'clock, my kids are on their way home, they're gonna be famishly starved, is I put my um, Instant Pot on saute. So basically, I'm just gonna warm this in a pan until it's warm all the way through, serve it with some crackers, good to go. You can also stick it on um, the crock pot setting, and I would put it for like four hours, maybe on a low or a medium. Um, if you wanna do high, you can, but the beans might get a little soft. Um, and just put your delay start. So start it at like noon, and then when you get home, and then it'll shut off after four hours, and then it goes to warm. So this is an easy, quick recipe for transitioning um, over and really by the time they add the corn and the salsa and the beans and all that stuff in they really don't miss the meat So I hope this was helpful. 
grab some cans at the store. They're cheap to buy and just start plant basing. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.